Hello, this is Bern, and if you're a woman who's experienced a broken heart, and you've been planning and strategizing and learning and watching YouTube videos on how you can win a guy back, on today's video, I'm gonna share with you why that's the worst thing you can do, and what you can do instead to start experiencing the deep love that you want starting today. Stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And today I'm super excited to be sharing with you why you should not be trying to get your guy back, why you should stop all efforts to win him back, and what you can do instead to get the love that you want. Before I start, let me just start by saying that I'm so thankful to you. Why? Yesterday I celebrated my 10th million view, which is very exciting for me. I know for some YouTubers that's nothing. For me, that's a big deal. 10 million shares of my videos, women who are watching, learning, and all the weddings that have come from it, all the babies that have been born through relationships created through the magic of what I'm sharing here. So I'm so thankful to you for sticking around. I'm looking forward to millions and millions more to share. But let me get back to my topic today. Here's why you should stop wanting to get a guy back. I've seen so many women sharing and there's so many videos out there with strategies and techniques on how to get a guy back. And my thought is, well, why the hell should you want to get a guy back who doesn't want you, who's unsure about what he wants, who's unclear that you're the woman for him? Stepping into wanting to get a guy back when you've done nothing wrong, because here's the thing, if you did something wrong, I honestly feel that the best thing you can do is to apologize and to ask for forgiveness and ask for another chance. But that's as far as I take it. To strategize and want to get a guy back, especially if that's not the case, especially if you're someone who were doing the right thing, the guy showed up, he's feeling cold feet, and he's not willing to commit, and now you're trying to get him back. That's like not believing in the abundance of the universe, you know? And here's why it happens. A lot of women connect with men, and they feel this great intensity with him, and they start creating fantasies and stories in their minds that say, well, obviously this is as good as it gets. I'm never gonna connect with someone who loves me as much, who feels so much for me, or who I feel so much for. Therefore, I have to win him back because if I don't win him back, I, I, my life will be shit. I will not ever get the level of love that I want. And that's where you make a mistake. Because if a guy is not willing to give you what you want, no amount of magical dating advice fairy dust, and there's a bunch of fairy dust going out there, is gonna help you to have a sustainable, passionate relationship with him. You might manipulate him, or you might uh, cajole him into your lair and getting back with you, but do you really want a guy who is not sure about what he wants? Do you want a guy that you have to convince to be with you? Do you want a guy that you have to strategize on how he can step up and be a man to you? I don't think that's the case. I think if you're a woman who's showing up with openness and feminine energy and aliveness and passion, that it's unbecoming of a high value woman to try to get a guy back. It's just, it's just this. So what you can do instead, if you find yourself in the dilemma and you're t figuring, I mean, you're Googling how on YouTubing, how I can get my guy back, I'm gonna ask you instead of Google, how do I create the life that I want? How do I create an exciting life? How do I step into my passions? How can I contribute more? How can I feel my beauty and my worth? How can I show up with radiance and excitement? How can I connect with more men? Men who are interested in long-term commitment, who are willing to connect at a deeper level, who are willing to honor me, desire me, respect me the way that I want to. Because if you ask a different question, and if you go about it instead of, if you put all that energy that you're trying to get this guy back into creating an amazing life and creating new connections, you will find that on the path of stepping into the right energy and the right actions, you will connect with men that you can create as much intensity, if not more, than that guy that you're trying to get back. And you will do it in a way where he's stepping up, he's asking for your time, he's pursuing you, not chasing you, pursuing you. There's a difference, right? And as he's doing that, you get a chance to enjoy the relationship and to own the magic that comes when you step up and you have a standard for how you want a guy to show up. So again, to recap, if you've made a mistake, own up to it, go back and apologize to the guy and ask for another chance if you really messed up. If it's not your fault, if you didn't mess up, just the guy is not sure about what he wants, stop trying to sprinkle fairy dust on him to get him back and enjoy your life make it more magnificent and step into a better relationship with someone who honors you and loves you from the start the right way. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things, my dear. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, I'm gonna, uh, if you want to learn, uh, I, I have a 
video that I can offer to you. It's a masterclass on how you can create the connection you want with a guy in a lot less time and with a lot less pain than you might be going about it right now. Just click on the link below the description of this video or somewhere here and you'll see that. Just sign up for it uh, and you'll start enjoying those lessons right now. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you for 10 million views and I, as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.